The importance of keeping things simple when you first move to the Philippines. The fact is, you don't know how much it's going to cost you. You don't know what your outlays are going to be. As you've seen me on my uh, talk about the Spanish school, there's different costs every week, and until you actually know what the costs really are, you don't know what your budget is for the year. Now you're talking to somebody who actually plans 20 years ahead. You know, I have a 20-year uh, plan. The the problem in the Philippines is things are regional. Things, um, for example, Cebu. I when I was last in Negros, it worked out Negros Island was about 30% cheaper. Something you wouldn't find on the internet. Housing costs fluctuate. Electricity costs go up. The more you use, the the higher the rate they charge you. So you may find that, as we did when we first went to the Philippines, our bill was a maximum of about a thousand pesos a month. Um, before we left, our biggest bill has been twenty thousand. That's a big jump. Um, so. What I would say is get something small, get a small base, take it for six months, find your way around. Don't go in there and go, right, I want to be the big guy, I'll have the big house, I want this, I want that. There's no point to it. There's no, you don't need to compete with anybody. There's no big game here. There's no, um, there's nobody to compete against. You're doing what suits you and that's the important bit you're you're not there to um, show off or something you're creating your own life and the sensible bit being you get a budget place to get started the advantage with a budget place as well is you connect with people easier um, to get into what would be the political and um, government type people is fairly easy anyway because there's an interlink between different people for example uh, we have connections right up to the president of the Philippines we've got local connections to the mayors and other things um, purely because of family connections there is always a route to wherever you need to be but if you're the humble person that lives in a small establishment has the creature comfort you want, basic creature comfort, then you're not going to get too many problems. But if you start being the big guy, you're standing out like a sore thumb. You're bringing problems to your doorstep because they know that you don't know anybody. Where once established, they know you're not somebody they can easily do things to, you know, like rob your house, you know, the odds on somebody doing something stupid gets less the more local you are, because the more local you are, the more people you know, the more likely people will protect you. And why would people want to protect you is the next question someone's going to ask me. Because they like to be your friend. You're part of the community, and... I've, I've mentioned this before about the the old women in the Philippines. Old women are great. If you meet, it doesn't matter how awkward somebody is, they've always got an aunt, a mother, or somebody else that'll pull them down a few pegs. Um, and it's all about the network of the old women um, <laughs> because there'll be somebody <laughs> that you know that'll get that message to whoever needs to deal with it and they'll shut them down. Um, it's all about etiquette and respect and all this sort of stuff but it all starts with keeping things simple because you move into a country you don't understand yet you move into a country you have limited connections to the people in there but starting with a small base keeps your bills down keeps your risks down um, also if you decide in three months time you hate it you haven't lost a lot you know you can walk away from it and just put it down as experience but if you love it you can invest in it but also you may find that you want the aircon 24 7 
and if you're saving 3000 a month on your rent because you've got a smaller place you can leave your aircon on all the time because it's the money you saved on getting a smaller place and that's why it's all about taking a bit of time that's why I always say get a small base and work from it